closed off to the world, Gaza is being bombed into submission. Inside the coastal enclave, people living here describe it as a prison. It's a scene of daily terror and horror. This is the story of 11 girls killed over the last week by Israeli airstrikes. We know about them because they were being treated for trauma and severe anxiety by the Norwegian Refugee Council after years of war. Amongst them were sisters Yara, who was nine, and Rula, she was just five. They died along with 12 members of their family. This is what's left of their home. The damage in Gaza after many rounds of fighting is extensive. The Strip has been under an economic and military blockade by Israel and Egypt since 2007. Israel says the blockade is to prevent Hamas, designated a terror organization by much of the world, from doing this. Firing rockets into civilian areas inside Israel, terrorizing the country's population. And under increasing international pressure, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu told a meeting of foreign diplomats the IDF is doing everything it can to avoid civilian casualties. We go to unprecedented lengths to prevent civilian casualties. When you see those buildings that fall, there's not a single civilian death there. There are probably children there, so we're not going to do it. But the young are dying and being injured. A constant stream of children, 61 have been killed so far, are brought into the Al Shifa hospital. But the care they get is basic. Medical supplies, like everything here, is running out. Israel says it is determined to restore calm and impose a lasting deterrent. But the calls for a ceasefire are growing louder, with the US hardening its tone. But whilst the diplomacy drags on, it's those caught in the fighting that continue to suffer. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Jerusalem.